picking a topic right out of the today's headlines. Let's talk about making statues an interesting encounter. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. First, a bit of an apology for my voice. I have a bit of what's called vagus throat. I actually went out west and went out to Reno, Nevada, and my going in and out of the casinos and out, it, there's such a radical change in humidity that it can affect your throat and I've got a bit of that and I actually went to the doctor and it's just I don't my chest is clear and so on but my throat it, but my sound is a little bit rough so I apologize for that but I've been watching some of the news and you hear all this stuff about the statues and I'm not going to politically comment on that what I'm going to talk about is ideas for your campaign. Now, what's happening in, out in Charlottesville and everything else, there, there are some ideas that we can take from here and apply to a campaign to make interesting scenarios for your characters. And the scenario, there are two that pop up in my mind. There are others, but the, the first one is you've got a statue that offends some group and your party is hired to destroy the statue. This is an interesting one because there may be other people you don't want to. You may not, may or may not want them to be um, actively killing people or not. That depends upon how you play. This offers a whole bunch of options for that. The other is the reverse of that. That there's a group that want to take down some statue and your party is hired to protect the statue. And again, the one one of one solution is just to kill anybody who comes near it. Uh, but that may not be politically attractive and that may not fulfill the needs of your contract as your as your characters. So we can talk about is the statue, what is the statue is of, I doesn't really matter. Because you can put anything. I put in the background on the, the thumbnail a statue of what was it, the frog god or something like that. Um, it, but you can find any kind of statue that you've got in your campaign. They may have been, say, they're a... Uh, uh, the founder of some city, but it's later found out that they open the eggs from the wrong end. Okay, for those of you who aren't familiar, that's the, there was the, the in Gulliver's Travels, there were the two countries that were at war with each other over which way to open a, an egg. Did you open it at the little end or did you open it at the big end? So you can have uh, the the statue and that they find in some writing that's just been exposed that he actually preferred to open his eggs from the big end when the country uh, has all believed that they should open their eggs from the little end and this is heresy of some type and now you've either got to destroy the statue or protect the statue or you could actually have different members of the party could be pulled by different factions which want them to either destroy or protect. This allows you to introduce some interesting challenges to your party. Which side do they want to be on? What do they feel about this? Now, I, I normally am not going to talk too much about politics, but this, this, this is nothing new. The, this changes about statues. We know that one of the things in archaeology, in archaeology particularly Egyptology, they had this problem with the pharaohs if they disliked their predecessor they would actually have all their references to them removed from statues and their images destroyed that was common practice it, this is as old as it uh, you know as mankind we've done that so i'm not going to talk about taking sides on that it's just a comment that we have done this throughout but it makes some interesting it allows you to if you want to get into this discussion with your party, this allows you to introduce this hot political topic into your campaign in an interesting way, which may make people think. And that's what I always like. I always like to make an encounter that makes people think about what does it mean. 
and you can frame it in a whole bunch of different ways. You can say it's the found, you know, if one of your characters is very uh, wrapped up in his religion and one of the founders of his, you know, one of the big high priests that in the past was there, and there's this statue of him, and now they find that he opened his eggs on the, he opened his eggs from the little end when he should have been opening them from the big end. Because there's some document that comes to light that says that. So now people are out for destroying the statue because he opened his eggs from the wrong end. Now, I'm not making light of all of this. I'm just pointing out that in history, things like this have happened before. And if you want to introduce this type of stuff into your campaign, it's relatively easy to do. And I'm trying to give you a couple of scenarios for that. I'd like to hear your comments about this. I'm trying to be as apolitical as possible, but give you some options for making your campaigns more interesting. So thank you for watching my video. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, press the thumbs up button. You can subscribe by clicking the link in the lower left. If you are interested, there are links to more content.